In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot when a test fails. This can be very useful when you're trying to figure out why a test is failing. Welcome to Automate Now. I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. We're going to begin by adding a new package, and we're going to do that here under io.automateNow. Let's go ahead and right click this, and we're going to select a new package. And here we need to delete this part that says tests. I'm going to say dot utils. Press enter. And now we have a package for our tests. And we also have one for utilities. Let's go ahead and right click this. Say new Java class. We're going to name that class test listener. Press enter. Now this class is going to extend the base page class. And we're going to see why in a minute. Then it's going to implement iTestListener. Notice that this is an interface because it starts with capital I. And this is coming from the TestNG package. First, we need to resolve this issue here. So we're going to click here and hit Alt Enter. Next, it's complaining about the test listener it must either be declare abstract or implement abstract methods. Since this is an interface, we have to implement all of the abstract methods. So let's go ahead and say implement methods. And here on this window, we're simply going to click OK. Now we're going to get a bunch of methods here. So this interface allows us to implement a bunch of methods. For example, when our test starts, we could put code in here that we want to be executed every time a test starts. When a test succeeds, same thing here. We want to implement this one though, on test failure. So when the test fails, we want to take a screenshot. And that's what we're going to do next. Before we implement this method for on test failure, let's go ahead and create a new directory where we're going to store all the failed test screenshots. So I'm going to right click on the package name and say new directory. And here I'm going to call this failed tests. Press enter. This is where we're going to store all the screenshots. Now let's go back to this on test failure. Here we want to take the screenshot. Luckily, we have a method for taking the screenshot. This is located over here under this main folder. Go to pages, base page class. And this is the method here for taking a screenshot. We're going to grab this code right here. And we're going to paste it over here. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we're going to change this code a little bit. Now we need to add the location where the screenshots need to be stored. So here we're going to say fail test forward slash. And this is going to make sure that any screenshot goes into this folder over here that we created with this directory the failed tests. So next, we're going to need to find the tests that we're going to run. Let's head over to the sandbox test class. And here we have a test that we wrote in the past called test enter text. And what that test does is that it goes over to this sandbox page and then it selects form fields. Once it's in here, it tries to enter some text in this box right here and verifies that the text that was entered matches what is expected. We can see here that the text that we're entering is hello. Here we can see that it clicks on four fields, says the text hello, then it gets the input text. Then we make sure that the text that is displayed in the input box matches the text that we expect, which is the hello. Now I'm going to make this test fail on purpose so that we can try to get that screenshot that we talked about. So here in this assertion, we're going to change this my text to some other text. We're going to say bad text. Now let's go ahead and run this test. And here we see that the test has failed. If we scroll down here, we're going to see an assertion error. It says, unable to verify enter text. We expected to find bad text, but actually we found hello. Now, if we check the failed test folder, notice that there's nothing there. That means that the screenshot did not get taken yet, or at least it didn't go into this folder. The reason why that didn't happen is because we forgot to do one thing. We have set everything up over here saying that when a test fails to take a screenshot. However, in this class right here where our test is located, we need to add one line of code. At the top of the class name, we're going to say at listeners, this one right here. This is coming from the testng annotations. So we're going to click that. Then in parentheses, we're going to say test listeners and select this class, say dot class. 
And this is how we connect our test with our test listener class. So when a test fails here, it's going to go to this class over here and see if there's anything implemented there. So in our case, we have implemented the test failure. So when the test fails here, it's going to go there and take the screenshot. And hopefully this time it's going to save it in the failed test. Let's go ahead and rerun this test. Again, we see that the test failed for the same reason. And this time, if we look at this directory here, fail test, we see that a file has been stored, screenshot.png. Let's double click this. And here we can see the screenshot of the test that failed. The field has the hello, but we expected to find this bad text. The last thing that I want to show you is how we can add the method's name to this file right here. So let's go back to the test listener class. And here we're going to add another line. We're going to say string method name is equal to i test result dot get name and this is going to return the name of the method that failed and then right here where it says screenshot we're going to say method name so let's delete this and lastly we're going to print something to the console stating that a test has failed and that a screenshot has been taken Now let's go ahead and rerun our test to see what happens. Once again, the test has failed. And here we can see test enter text has failed and a screenshot has been taken. And I have a typo here. So let me go ahead and fix that here. And as you can see, this is now printing this text right here. So we're giving some information, some feedback of what is happening. And we can see here, that a new file was created with the name of the test, test enter text.png. If we open this file, we can see the same screenshot. And that's all there is to taking screenshots when a test fails. If you want, you can experiment with some of these other methods. For example, when a test starts, you can print some message to the screen or do some other action. Please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this content. I'll see you in the next video.